Hi friends, welcome to Pictures and Paintings. I have been doing watercolor painting for close to a year now. I have done close to 15-16 paintings, but all of them on A4 size sheets. Encouraged by the success, I thought I will uh, try on a little bigger sheet. So here you go, my first painting in an A3 size sheet. These beautiful parrots are called crimson rosellas. They are found in Australia. And one of their favorite food is flower buds. So in this picture, you can see them uh, have one of their uh, daily meal. Uh, the original reference had only this bird uh, feasting on the flowers. I thought adding a buddy here would make it a little bit more interesting. In fact, you can uh, see him already have his share of the food. What was challenging in this particular painting, other than the birds itself, is getting the environment right. I wanted to keep it muted so that the attention stays on the birds, but at the same time, uh, they, uh, their natural environment comes out. When I started this painting, I was worried about getting the uh, grass right. But to my surprise, it turned out to be a lot more easier than what I imagined it to be. This is Sivaraman. In this video, I am going to walk you through how I painted these parrots and the simple technique which I used to get a really believable grass in very little time. My parrot paintings on A4 size sheets were mostly portraits, sometimes a couple of parrots together. On the bigger A3 sized papers, I wanted to actually paint complete scenes. Like I had mentioned, I was drawing this picture from two different images. So the first challenge was to ensure both the birds look like they are uh, part of this picture. In this particular picture, I felt that the background had an equal role to play uh, like the birds themselves because we are telling a story and uh, the story would come alive only when everything goes well together. I did not want to figure out things while I am moving into painting so I ensured uh, the sketch was pretty detailed. I designed the branches the dry bark on the branches, uh, the placement of the flowers and the uh, grass to suit the scene that I am uh, painting. Painting the crimson rosellas was pretty straightforward. I started with their eyes and beak. Uh, from this distance, not too much details uh, were required to make them look believable. I just had to ensure all the major elements were painted right. I left the white highlights as it is and then uh, painted a little bit of uh, details on the eyelids and the folds around the eye uh, which uh, would show the skin portion while uh, from a distance it's hard to note i left the iris with a little bit more pale color and uh, painted shadows around the corners of the eyes and on the bottom of the eye naturally the birds had a very pale colored beaks so uh, i did not have to fill in with lot of colors wherever there were grooves and uh, small little uh, bends i just ensured the uh, shadow in those regions were uh, indicated so once i was uh, done with those i started painting the body i used wet on wet technique for the body and as the uh, paint was settling down i used a few water droplets to create the uh, beautiful blooms which you can see uh, below the wings uh, this is uh, one easy technique to uh, make it look like uh, there are a uh, lot of feather details. Painting the upper portion of the wings uh, was pretty tedious. There were a lot of small feathers and uh, I had to paint it very patiently. In fact, I did think about simplifying those feathers and I wasn't sure if I can uh, simplify but still make the birds look like uh, crimson rosellas. I did not want to take a chance, so I decided to uh, paint the small black feathers on top of the wings. But towards the end of it, I was pretty much happy with how both the birds were looking like. It took some time to get the birds right, but then uh, so far so good is what I felt. With the birds completed, the next thing I wanted to get out of the way is the branch. Because it is in close proximity with the bird, I wanted to add an equal level of detail on the uh, branch. At this time, I, I was still wondering how I was going to be uh, painting the uh, grass. I did not have a plan. One thing which I knew I had to do was to mask off 
all the uh, hero grasses the main ones i like the flow of those lines and i wanted to retain the same in my final painting so used a masking fluid and masked those off along with the flowers my original plan to paint the uh, background grass was to do a wet on wet coat using yellow ochre and then uh, do a few blooms and leave it but when i actually started painting i realized that uh, that is not going to work out so for the grass in the background i switched to an interesting technique of uh, leaving a drop of water and then uh, blowing it with a straw as you blow the air randomly takes the uh, water forward leaving a strain on the paper for variation within the uh, grass you can try with different droplet size what i did was use a very light strain of uh, paint in the uh, first layer of uh, grass once i knew how it was behaving and uh, to a extent i felt more confident about uh, how the look was coming then i started increasing the paint on the uh, droplets i mixed up droplets with darker paints uh, to get varying contrast between the layers of the grass one practical challenge we have with this technique is the paint running over the already painted subject in this case the birds and the uh, branch uh, but we don't have to be really worried about it i used a dry brush and a dry cloth and as the paint was running over immediately before it can dry i uh, used the dry brush to absorb the water and it hardly left any strains on the uh, on the already painted subjects well it is a lot of fun trying this technique i want to really alert you that it actually takes a lot more energy than we can imagine there were times i was feeling even a little dizzy so if you are trying this please go easy and give yourself a lot of breaks in between if you have any breathing problems this is better to avoid while doing this painting there was a stage where i was really confused about how to paint the grass and in fact uh, a casual chat with my wife saved the day for me she quickly gave me a solution asking me uh, why not try the technique where uh, we blow using uh, straw she has seen it in a youtube video and uh, was checking if that would work out i had never even heard of it before so i quickly checked a few videos and, and i really liked it and it was a big risk that i was taking at that point because i have never done that earlier and uh, in this particular painting i have invested a lot of time already and most of the painting is done and it's just this one element which uh, which was still left to finish luckily for me it worked out so i would like to give a special thanks to my wife anita once the background grass was painted i took the masking fluid off the original plan was to hand paint all the uh, hero grass but then uh, i liked how it was just as it is without uh, any details in them it was looking painterly and very nice so i left it as it is and then i uh, moved to the flowers painting the flowers were pretty straightforward at this juncture i would like to thank another uh, one of my friends linda lord i got to know her through one of the facebook groups she is someone who has been uh, regularly giving me a lot of constructive suggestions and ideas and uh, even in this painting by seeing one of my work in progress images she rightly pointed out uh, that the uh, yellow flower placement was uh, symmetrical so towards the end i added a couple of flowers at the bottom to break the uh, symmetry thank you linda with this we have come to the end of this video me and my daughter keep posting our paintings in this particular channel we would like to stay in touch with you and keep sharing our work if you like what you saw please hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so that we can stay in touch if you like this particular painting and want to see a more detailed version of how i went about doing this you can check detailed videos that are published in three parts links are here Thank you for watching this. See you soon in the next one. Until then, bye bye.